Hi Trumpets, welcome back. Today's video is Accent Book 2, page 24. On today's page, our concept is molto ritardando. And that means to drastically slow down the tempo. Our first exercise is a smooth slurring. Number 83 is in cut time. So be careful as we're gonna need to count one and two e and one a two. One and two and a one and a two. Because cut time, remember, the values of the notes are half of what they're traditionally given. Join me. Let's play number 83. One and two e and ready and go. <laughs> Let's try that again. One and two E and ready, go. We'll move on to number 84. This is the Habanera by Carmen. This piece uses D flat as the second note. D flat is a C sharp, one and two. It also, in the third, uh, second, second full measure, or the third measure of the piece, it uses an A flat, two and three, like a G sharp. Join me as we play this habanera from Carmen. The piece has a repeat sign at the end. However, to keep the video a shorter length, I'm only gonna play the song once. If you'd like, you can pause and repeat the song on your own. One, two, and one, two, three, four, ready, go. Probably sounded familiar. Great. Try it again and pause the video and then resume for number 85. In number 85, this Australian folk song uses the dotted eighth and sixteenth pattern from a few pages ago. Dotted eighth and sixteenth, when you see that rhythm, think of four sixteenth notes. Now, join the first three together and you've got a dotted eighth. What's left over? The sixteenth note. So in our yodeling song, we'll play one, a two, and three, and one, a two, and three. Be careful of your F sharps, second valve. <clears throat> one, a two, and three, and ready, set, go. <laughs> Very good. Next is the Violin Concerto in D by Ludwig van Beethoven. It's in 6-8 time, so a great review of our 6-8. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember in 6-8, the eighth note gets one beat, the quarter note gets two, and the dotted quarter note gets three beats in 6-8 time. We'll play from the beginning all the way to the end. At the end, there's a fermata. We'll hold and then DC al fine. Go back to the beginning and play to the fine symbol. Here we go. I'll give you five to start. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Ready? 
Ready, set, go. <laughs> And there you have it, fine. Our last exercise is accent on creativity. Improvise on a blues scale. Using the pitches shown, improvise your own melody using any rhythms you know. You may play these notes in any order and you can use rests. So the scale you see there is the blues scale and often used in the art form jazz. Give it a try, make a melody of your own, and then share it with someone you love. Until I see you next time, keep practicing.